Welcome to the Australian edition of Unboxing the ISAT Hub. Nicely packaged. We'll just slip off the protective sleeve and get into the unit itself. First thing up, we've got the quick start guide. Nice little bag here for carrying your unit in. The all-important ISAT Hub SIM card, we'll come back to that in a second. And the unit itself. We'll pop that down whilst we go one layer deeper. Diving right in, you can see the power pack, all your international adapters so you can charge on the go. Hey, ISAT Hub keyring, be very useful I'm sure, and of course the battery. Under here we've got the USB cable, so we'll just set that aside for a moment. Take the battery, return to the unit, very easy to attach. That's it, done. So the battery forms part of the, the stand if you like. The, it's the unit in operation like this. You've got your elevation, depending on how high the satellite is in the sky. Rotate the unit to face the satellite. You'll be guided by these lights here, left or right, up or down. A couple of buttons here. You've got the power button and also the um, pointing mode button. On this side we've got our aperture for the USB cable and for inserting the SIM card. So we'd have this outside pointed towards the satellite and instantly we've given our smart devices satellite telephone, SMS and data capabilities. High speed data at that too, 384 kilobits per second. So suddenly your smart devices, it's like having your own uh, how can you say? Possibly like having your own 3G mobile phone tower along with you. Wherever you are in the world, you can connect by voice, SMS and data. You can see more about this at www.satphonesales.com.au